Hey everybody, Lakes Region Aquariums here today. Got some cool things in. I actually got my uh, Dragonstone order in. And thank God I didn't have to pay shipping on this. It's really heavy. It's about 25 pounds worth of it. I've been waiting on Dragonstone and local fish stores for a long time, so I just figured I'd buy it in bulk. I almost got 50 pounds worth of it, but it just ended up being up too much money. So this is mainly gonna be for my, uh, my clients. But yeah, I just thought I'd try a video out of opening it up. I know the unboxing videos are pretty cool, but I've never seen anybody open up a box of rocks before. <laughs> and as exciting as that sounds, um, let's see what's going on in here, huh? But yeah, I love Dragonstone. I've always loved Dragonstone. It's actually what's in Plant City. And um, I've always really liked it. It's really fun to aquascape with it. Not that I'm like an aquascaping uh, pro, but, you know, it's fun to use this stuff. So, all right, it's definitely Dragonstone. So that's pretty cool. Big fun fact for you. This is actually, I learned this a while ago, but if you're ever at the store and you see Dragonstone, usually they sell it to you by the weight. And this is very important, like, remember that because these little pockets, these little cavities everywhere in the rock, everywhere, um, I don't know if I can get that to focus. I don't want to touch my hand with, I mean, my phone with my dirty hand now. Um, but these cavities, they're filled with mud usually. So when you're at the pet store, you got to be that little butthead and you got to uh, tell them to rinse these out, you know? Ask if you can rinse them out before you actually weigh them because there's a lot of mud on there and you're not buying the rock for the, for the mud, you're buying it for the rock. So clean it out before you uh, get it there and then you'll get a more accurate weight. And the mud that is in these is considerable. Like, it's going to take me some time washing these out. Maybe I'll make a video on that. But, um, yeah, just clean these guys out. And uh, you should definitely have a nice, uh, you know, a, a lighter Dragonstone. You won't have to pay as much. So that's a little fun fact I learned. But, yeah, so first piece, pretty cool. You know, second piece, you know, dirty. A little bit pinkish, This these stuff. Uh, these stones right here a little have a little bit of pink in them. That might be cool. Be curious to see what that looks like underwater. Yeah, neat stuff. It's gonna you can definitely plan some cool aquascapes. Even in like nano tanks, uh, Java or not Java, <laughs> lava rock looks really good. That's a nice one. Stand it up just like that, you know. Look at that. Such an alien-looking stone. There's a cool one. Nice and flat, but really rigid. That's cool. Nice. Wow. I don't really have any. Oh, there's a nice one. <laughs> I can't believe I'm making a video on rock opening right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, someone's got to like it, right? I figured it was worth a shot. Neat stuff. Really cool. Look at that one, huh? Wow. I mean, the scape you could make with the rocks I pulled out already. Already. It's just, um, you know, it's limitless. Really tiny one. Really pink, this, this group. I've never seen it this pink before. I wonder how that's going to look underwater. I mean, over time, anything you put in your tank kind of ages and it gets a little bit darker, I've found. A lot of mud and all these. You can kind of see that, huh? Stick my finger in there. That's all that stuff. You could rinse that out. Who knows how deep that is? So, little holes. Coolie loaches, like loaches of all kinds. Love Dragonstone. Because of all those little caverns they have. There's a really cool one. Wow. Wow, look at that. Kind of neat. I wonder where this stuff comes from. Wow, I feel like I could separate that one, but I don't know if I want to. Look at that, huh? That would be a nice corner piece. It's nice and flat on one side. Look at that. Ooh, little spear tip one, huh? Look at all that mud. I can't wait to wash that. Look, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That goes so deep in there. That would weigh considerably less without all this mud on it. 
really cool, huh? Dragonstone people. It's cool to use. And this big one down below, covered in mud. Oh wow, that's a nice side, huh? I can only imagine what you could do with that. Get that too, huh? Very cool. And yeah, 25 pounds is pretty much done. I got some, you know, with nano tanks and stuff, there's little tiny pieces. It's, you know, you can do a lot with these. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me wipe my hands really quick. Right on my pants. Because <laughs> that's all I have. But yeah. That's all the rocks I got. Really cool. And, you know, some other stuff. But thank you guys. <laughs> I hope I hope people actually watch this. I thought it would be interesting. Why not? Had some free time. Wanted to show it off. But yeah, Dragonstone people. Check it out. Try it out in your aquariums. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day.